Hey guys, the pain you feel today can be the strength for tomorrow. Once again, welcome everyone in my YouTube channel. This channel I have prepared for your study. Today I brought important topic that I have taken from the BHU syllabus of BCom third year and that is from the sixth semester of the company secretary unit four. Here I am going to cover what is agenda. I brought blank format of agenda. Who is chairperson of the meeting? What is quorum? Motion of the meeting? Who is proxy? What is resolution of the meeting? What is ordinary resolution? What is special resolution? What is minutes of the meeting? Guys, I have already prepared few videos from the company law and secretarial practice. You can watch it. Link is given in the description box. Topics are covered in that video of annual general meeting, extraordinary general meeting, appointment of the company secretary, removal of the company secretary, responsibilities of the company secretaries, powers of the company secretary, etc. So guys, let's begin today's topic. What is agenda? So the term agenda means things to be done. An agenda is a list of meeting activities. An agenda is a meeting program designed to allow all relevant topics to be dealt with in good order and in good time. Now guys, you can see here meeting team in this picture. So an agenda also helps to ensure that meeting is run efficiently and is a productive use of time. An agenda provides a guide to deal with the order of business so that discussion stays on agreed topics and to manage the time allocated for each topic. Now here what things should be in the agenda I brought First one point should be there, location and date of the meeting. Second one, starting time of the meeting. And third one is ending time of the meeting. It means it should be clearly mentioned that meeting will start from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Fourth one point, attendees including chairperson and note taker. Fifth one point, time allocated to each topic. And sixth one point is name of attending who will lead discussion on each topic. Guys, you can see here blank format of agenda. This is the second blank format of agenda. And in this picture, you can see meeting is going on. Now, who will be chairperson of the meeting? Let's see. So the chairperson is the person who has been appointed as the highest ranking officer of the event. Chairperson is a key role on any voluntary management committee. In formal meetings, the chair is the responsible for driving the meeting content. The chair leads preparation of the meeting, agenda opens the meeting and work to keep the conversation focused, engaging and balanced. Now guys, this is time to check our knowledge. I brought two important questions for you. Let's see what are they. So guys, my first question is here. A situation in which only two forms exist is called as. Options are here. First one is oligopoly. Second one, duopoly. Third one, monopsony. And fourth one is perfect competition. Out of these four, you have to say correct answer. Second one question is here. A brand is a, four options are given here. First one, product plan. Second one, product cost. Third one, quality. And fourth one is product or service name. So guys, think it. Now we will continue to our video. So guys, my next point is here, quorum. This is very important. Here in this picture, you can see some information about the quorum. 
So, a quorum is the minimum number of members required to be attendance in order for that group to be able to take official action. A meeting cannot be started if quorum is not present in the meeting. It means quorum means Minimum number of members should be present in the meeting, then only meeting will start. It is the duty of the chairperson to see that quorum is present or not before the meeting. The secretary helps him in counting the quorum. Now in this picture you can see motion of the meeting. So, since a member at a meeting formally introduces or moves a subject for discussion, it is called a motion. A motion is a formal proposal put to a group for a decision by vote in a meeting. The outcome of a motion gets recorded as an official decision in the meeting minutes. The wording must be properly made so that it can be converted into a resolution in proper form. There are some rules regarding motion. So first one rule is here. Only one motion can be moved at a time. It means two matter cannot be discussed at a time in the meeting. Second point. A motion should preferably be placed in writing signed by the mover. Third one. The wording must be properly made so that it can be converted into a resolution in proper form. Generally, the help of the secretary is sought in this respect as he is an expert in this line, etc. So guys, you can see everywhere help of secretary is required. Now my next topic is here, proxy. Everyone should know what is the meaning of the proxy as a commerce student. So, a proxy is a member's authorized agent for the purpose of voting. Unless the articles otherwise provide, a proxy shall not be allowed to vote except on a poll. Here you can see picture of the poll. The knowledge of the term quorum is complete when the meaning of the term proxy is known. So, Proxy means substitute. In the world of meeting, proxy means a substitute sent by a member to attend a meeting on his behalf. The idea comes from the Companies Act, Section 176 of the Act, provides that a member of a company is entitled to send another person to attend a meeting and to vote on his behalf. So guys, here also one picture you can see. So there are certain rules about this. A member of a private company cannot send more than one proxy unless otherwise provided in the articles. So guys, let's see answer of the questions what we saw previously so my first question was a situation in which only two firms exist is called as options where oligopoly duopoly monopsony copy competition so guys here is the right answer is duopoly because in the market when there will be only two sellers that situation is called as duopoly when there will be few shellers, means 4, 5, 6, then it is the situation of oligopoly. And when there will be single buyer, then that will be the situation of the monopsony. And fourth one is the perfect competition. So when there are large number of buyers and sellers in the market, so that will be the situation of the perfect competition. So guys, duopoly is the right answer. My second question was, a brand is a, an options where product plan, product cost, quality, product or service name. 
so guys your final answer will be product or service name now very important topic what is resolution of the meeting so resolution is a formal way in which company can note decisions that are made at the meeting of a company members so let's see what is ordinary resolution an ordinary resolution can be passed by a simple vote either by proxy or in person and is passed by a majority most standard business decisions are made with an ordinary resolution at a annual general meeting here are some examples of the ordinary resolution first one is here giving up company authority to purchase its own shares it means with ordinary resolution company can purchase its own shares second one point appointment or removal of company directors so through ordinary resolution company can take decision regarding appointment and removal of company directors third one point remuneration people to directors so what will be the remuneration of the directors will be decided through ordinary resolution and fourth one point is here investment in any other body corporate etc now let's see what is meaning of the special resolution we saw already what is resolution what is ordinary resolution now this is a time to see what is special resolution so special resolution is passed with a majority vote of at least 75% at least 21 days clear notice needs to be given for a special resolution to all of those that are entitled to attend and vote now examples of special resolutions are here first one making amendment to the articles of association so as guys everyone knows that article of association and memorandum of association is prepared at the time of the registration of the company that's why it requires special resolution second point is here change to a company name so in the memorandum of association one clause will be there that is the name clause so it is not easy to change name of the company so for that purpose special resolution is required third one is share capital reduction guys let's see what is meaning of the minutes in this picture we will see minutes of the meeting now minutes are proof of happening of a specific event in a company and whenever the documents of a company are demanded by any department the very first is the generally minutes of the meeting minutes are prepared for each and every kind of meeting including first one board meeting second one shareholders meeting like annual general meeting and extraordinary general meeting third one audit committee meetings fourth one nomination and remuneration meetings fifth one stakeholders meeting sixth one corporate social responsibility meetings etc now who prepares board meeting minutes so the company secretary shall record the proceedings of the meetings where there is no company secretary any other person duly authorized by the board or by the chairman in this behalf shall record the proceedings minutes should be entered in the minute book within 30 days from the board meeting hence they should be signed on or before 30 days and each and every page should be initialed 
and last page of each board meeting should be signed by chairman and at last in case of electronically maintained board meeting minutes the chairman shall sign minutes digitally so guys in this way i brought important topics it was from the fourth unit so if you like this then like it and share it and also send it to your friends also they can continue their study thank you for watching this video